Hello, good day friends. Welcome to the Financial Literacy, which is brought to you by the Financial Literacy Foundation in partnership with MANA TV, which is hosted by MTW, MANA Tabernacle of Witness. First of all, let me appreciate our vision bearers, my mentors, Pastor Joylene, who's our senior pastor at MANA Tabernacle, and Pastor Joylene, who's the general overseer. Uh, I want to appreciate men and women of God who leave everything else in their lives and make sure that the work, the work continues as it is purposed. Thank you very much. May you continue leading us in the way that you are leading us. We are able to stand because you, the two of you, continue standing. Thank you very much. May God richly bless you and may he increase and advance your territories in Jesus' name. Friends, Mana Tawanagal family and our Facebook friends out there, welcome. I want to appreciate your coming. I want to appreciate your tuning in, your listening, your viewing these uh, 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 teachings. It is really meant for you. It is meant to change our lives. It is meant to make a difference in our work, in our finances, in everything that we do. Remember, we are in a, a, a topic which is building or creating a balanced financial plan and I've realized that one of the things that we need to take care of in our managing our finances in managing or building our financial management is dealing with our debts or dealing with our credit and specifically today we want to talk as a continuation of the series that we started last week which was live which we said managing your credit profile and specifically we want to understand the credit bureau and what goes in it and what can we do what advantage can we take around credit bureau i said last week that we need not worry or uh, 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 our hearts melting when we hear the word credit bureau because we often think that credit bureau it's a a, a, a platform a place where bad credit is listed where all the nasty things that we do with regard to our credit management where it gets reported to not quite so friends credit bureaus are a completely different thing to what we are saying but part of it yes it is there they will list all those negative things that is why we want to talk about it today what is a credit bureau? Credit bureau are uh, uh, institutions or facilities where every record of anyone who buys anything on credit or anyone who takes any kind of a contract, it could be a cell phone contract, it could be a rental contract, anything that is done at a level of trust, such as credit, it gets recorded so you don't get recorded at credit bureau when you have a, 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 a struggle to pay or when you have failed to pay you get listed at credit bureau immediately when you start that credit before it is even known whether you will be able to pay for it or not before it is even recorded anywhere else that you have uh, delayed in making your payment for the month it is already if your particulars are already at the credit bureau because it is their duty it is their duty to record such and they take that information and sell that information to credit providers and insurance companies so today we want to have a look at that and say what can we learn about it what advantages can we take when everything then makes a turn at the credit bureau and it gets a, a, a filtered out again to the institutions that we work with we do business with on a daily business on a daily basis why do we need to be credit with it's important for us to be credit with because we want to be able to build wealth and when you are not credit worthy it can be very difficult for you to build wealth so we want to be credit worthy and poor credit rating so our buzzwords today will be credit rating and credit worthiness credit worthiness it's your 
ability to be cre- to be trusted with credit whereas credit rating these are the records that are built up by the credit bureaus they give you points in order to be able to determine your credit worthiness so poor credit rating can be very costly i want to show you three things why i say credit rating can be very costly we need our credit rating or our credit worthiness to build wealth because we want to use credit to buy appreciating assets by appreciating assets we are referring to assets that grows in value you will agree with me friends that it will be very difficult for many of us to buy houses if we are not buying on credit it will be very difficult for many of us to buy cars or vehicles if we are not buying on credit so it is important that we need to be credit worthy and we need to understand what goes into credit worthiness or what goes into credit rating in order to be able to do that but the other reason is without good credit it is very difficult to get good insurance i'm specifically referring to short term insurance because short term insurance do a check on your credit profile we talked about some of these things last week i'm just jogging your memory in order to be able to connect from there and we'll continue talking so banks and insurance companies they do check your credit profile before they do business with you when you want car insurance they check that when you want a, a, a credit card or when you want a home loan they do check that so there is a high cost a high price to pay for a poor credit profile i want to give that a, 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 an example so credit score determines the interest rate that you will be charged so if we buy things on credit we are charged interest because interest is the price you pay to use someone else's money now how do they determine what interest rate they're going to charge me they look at my credit profile and where do they get that at the credit bureau so the credit bureau will tell them about me to say this is how he pays his stuff this is how m- much of credit he's saving so he is over indebted or he is a, a credit worthy or he is a slow payer or he's got judgment or he's got whatever form of record that is listed on your credit profile so you need a good credit score in order to be able to get a good interest or a good interest rate so the lower the interest rate that you are charged it means the lesser expensive that very same debt that it will be let's give an example when speaking of interest rates and how expensive or how cheap it can be based on your credit rating or your credit profile let's give an example of someone who wants to buy a car worth 250,000 over 60 months so the price of the car don't change but and the and, and the term it's over 60 months which is five years someone with good credit score could be charged about seven percent interest on that which will lead to an installment of about 4921 but someone with poor credit rating could be charged about 15% which could lead from 7% to 15% it goes it brings the installment up to 5874 that's about 953 rand per month difference nearly a thousand which is 60000 in, in 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 the term of the policy in the term of the of 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 the of the credit agreement or someone with a bad credit could be charged even 17% or even higher but at a 17% you will be paying something like 6126 per month for the same 250000 car which someone is paying 4921 that's 1205 rand difference can you see my friend that poor credit rating could be very costly imagine if you are paying debt over five years and afterwards you have other debt and you continue and being charged such a high rate of interest 
it is stealing your wealth. It is stealing your wealth because you could have been saving that 1200 on a monthly basis, thereby building wealth, which is the goal. We need to create wealth. So, bad credit can be as costly. So, please, I want to beg you, go and check your installments on your vehicles, your installments on your bonds. Go and check what interest rate are you being charged. It will tell you whether you are credit worthy or not. Go and check those type of things. If you are not sure on how to do those things, please be free to contact us. We will help you understand that and make sure that you get a grip on your finances and you run with it at a much better way. There are a few things though that I will wish to highlight when it comes to improving our credit worthiness. Number one is that we need to understand how credit bureau works. So I've already mentioned that credit bureau don't only list people who are bad payers. It also lists those that are good payers. Those that are excellent payers, they are also listed there. So we need to understand how it works. And how does it work? What makes up the credit profile what makes up the records that the credit bureau puts which in turn they are selling to the, our banks and our insurance companies like i said they are just institutions that guard us so they don't make this information they simply gather this information and sell it out to interested parties our major a, 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 or bigger or well-known credit bureau agencies are Experian, TransUnion, CompuScan, XDS. I mention this because I want you to go and Google them and find out. Some of them, you are able to subscribe with them so that you pay them on a monthly basis to be able to update you each and every time there is a listing in your name. It could be a, a negative listing. It could be a positive listing. So anything that happens on your credit profile, it is possible to can get this information. So you are allowed to subscribe with them. And their monthly payments are very minimal. Very, very minimal. Most of us can afford without even thinking. So go and, and, and Google them. Check if you can be able to subscribe and be able to get your reports and be able to get your profile. So it's important, friends, that you need to go and download your credit report so that you can see what goes in it. Whether you are subscribing or not, you are allowed once every year, you are allowed to can request your credit report from any of those credit uh, 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 bureau agencies that I've mentioned. So let's make it a habit to be on top of our game is to be able to direct and manage things instead of things managing us. So let us not allow our credit profiles to manage us. Let us step up and manage these credit uh, uh, profiles. Why is it important that I advise that go and download your, 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 your credit report? There are a few reasons that I would want to give you. It is a report that is associated with your ID and your name. So anything which is listed, it dependent on your ID and your name. So if it is only dependent on your ID and your name and they don't call you to verify any of these things, there's a high likelihood that some of the information may not be accurate. Who is going to correct it if you don't stand up to correct it? It's going to sit there and build a bad credit profile for you while the information is not necessarily true while the information is not necessarily accurate i like to put it in this way credit bureaus are institutions that holds information so it contains allegations against you so you need to go and disprove some of these allegations some companies will list you without you knowing and not even bother to contact you to, to clarify. 
How will you know if you don't have your credit report in your hands? My friend, if you are serious about managing your money, I will want to urge you, go and download your credit report. It is for free once every year for any of those institutions. The second one and, and so forth in a given year, then you buy it. Even still, it's not an expensive thing given the information that it contains. There are allegations about you there. There are allegations that you are a slow payer. There are allegations some have negatively listed you and you are not aware of it. Let's get up and go and fix those things. That information changes on a monthly basis. Do you know what went into your credit profile last year, last week, last month? Do you know what went into your credit profile three months ago? If you don't know, make it make it your business to know. By the way, we are able uh, as Mati Mela Investments, we are able to download your credit uh, report and send to you. So. If you are not sure about how to go about getting these credit bureaus uh, uh, to do these things on your own, give us a call. Give us, send us an email. Send us a WhatsApp to say, I'm requesting my credit profile. Then we will be able to uh, uh, request the information that is necessary for us to be able to do that on your behalf. And then we will email it to you. It is said that about 70% of the information which is on the credit bureau which is on your credit profile is not accurate how do you live with that why do you leave that behind if 70 percent of the information is not accurate then it calls for one to stand up and fix that information as you fix that information you are you, you are we call it disputing so there is an ability on those systems to dispute some of the listings, to dispute any of the information that is listed there. They will simply ask you reasons why are you disputing. We give those reasons and they will go and investigate and more often they're going to find that indeed you are right and they're going to remove that profile. They're going to remove that listing. So let's get used to this let's let's get used to checking our credit profile regularly so that we can update and dispute information which is not accurate what makes up my credit report how is the credit uh, uh, bureau building up my credit profile there are five things that i will want to make mention your payment history it's number one and it, 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 it constitutes the major percentage of the way in which they build the, they build the scores. So your payment history, how slow are you paying? How fast are you paying? So basically, how do you pay your bills? So you get most of the points as you pay faster. And you get lesser points as you pay lesser. And you, you get negative points or point reduction as you don't pay also so it works in in both ways but the second thing is the amount that you owe to each of every credit item that you are having there each and every debt that you are having there it has got a facility it is a facility not so let's say it's a credit card if your credit card is a 10000 rand a, 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 a facility when we say how how the amount you owe, we are referring to the amount you owe out of that ten thousand. So if you owe seven thousand, that's what we are referring to, which means you still have three thousand rand available. We call this a utilization rate. So utilization rate it, it, it refers to of the facility given. How much have you utilized? The lower the utilization rate the more points you get. The higher the utilization rate, the, the lesser points you get. So we need to manage that. It is recommended that you, you, you get great points as you keep your utilization rate around 30% of the facility. So it is important that we understand that. Number three is the length of your credit history. So the longer... 
the longer the, 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 the credit history that you are having, the better. So can you see that some of you who are having or it's long you have been buying things on credit, this is one advantage also that you can use in order to build your good credit profile. Because the longer you have been with credit bureau or on the credit bureau, the better or the more advantageous for you. So the lesser you are on credit bureau, the lesser points you'll be able to build on that. Number four is the credit inquiries. So how much or how often are inquiries made in your name? How do you make inquiry when you go and want to apply for a cell phone contract? An inquiry is made. So those of us who like to do comparisons, for instance, uh, you go to this provider and that provider and that provider doing all the applications. Each and every one of those is making an inquiry. When you want to do a personal loan, you go and apply here and there and there and all the different places. Inquiries are adding up. So we need to be mindful that the more the inquiries you have, the lesser points you get and the high risk you are referred to be. So it does not work to your advantage to be having too many inquiries at a go. But the number five reason is the mix of credit. So when you have only one type of credit like personal loans or only have car uh, finance and nothing else, it, it, it does not work much to building your credit profile. So the more different uh, 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 facilities which are well managed, the, the, the better in terms of your credit profile. You may ask then, how do I improve my credit score? Again, those five things that we have just mentioned, it is those very same things that we can use to manage our credit profile. Pay your bills on time, all the time. Don't juggle around. Pay all your bills on time and pay a little extra every time when you make a payment. If you have a credit card, make sure that you use it at least three times in a year. So you don't get to have a credit card and pack it over there. Use it, you better use it and pay it off immediately the next day. But use it at least three times in order to be able to build your credit profile. Reduce your utilization rate. Refrain from closing accounts. This is very important, friends. We think that because I've paid off this account, now I can close it down. It does not work to your advantage to close down an account. It reduces your points. So you better pay it off and leave it lying there. Just be disciplined that you don't use it again. If your goal is never to use it again, just be disciplined and not use it. But don't go and close it down because it does not work to your advantage. And lastly, refrain from opening new accounts. You already have accounts. You already have facilities. Learn to work on cash basis. Whatever installments that you are paying. Many people say, how can I do that? Because uh, 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 I still need to buy clothes. I still need one, two, three. Hey, you can save in order to be able to go and buy cash. After all, some of us, we tend to appear like now we are that particular store because every clothes that you're having is from that particular store. You are now a moving advertising billboard. You can do better, my friend. You can do better by making sure that you save. Instead of paying installments, save. You will have options of where to buy where when there is specials and, and discounts there and, 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 and whatever kind of, of sales that takes place. You are able to jump to those opportunities and buy cheaper. So as I close, let me put it this way. Make sure that your debts are secured by a life cover. You don't want to die and leave your debts behind. I've mentioned this many times before. When you die and leave your debts behind, you are multiplying poverty. 
and I know that you are a smart man. You are a smart woman. You will not want to multiply poverty. You will not want your children or your surviving spouse or your family to be paying your debts upon your death. So make sure that you have a life cover to secure your debts at all times. And make sure that your debts correspond with some assets. So as you create a debt, make sure that you are creating a corresponding asset. So as your debt is getting paid, your asset is appreciating in value. So that is what I can share with you today. So uh, 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 there are the numbers on the screen. Please give us a call. Let us be useful. Let us help you to rebuild your credit profile. It's not too late, my friend. It is never too late to do the right thing. But it is too late if you will still decide even after this evening to sit and not check your credit bureaus and not check your credit reports. Go and download your credit report. I love you all. May God richly bless you. May he increase you in, in wealth creation, in asset a, a, a build up. May he give you wisdom as he has promised us in Jesus name. Amen.